Hey everybody, this is Mess. I've never really made a video like this before, so I'm kind of going to switch over this shell. It's kind of damaged. You can see right here. My friend, he, uh, he used to stick and stuff, so he kind of dug and tore it up a little bit. So now it's not, didn't work before. Now, now it definitely doesn't work. So, um, yeah, I've never, I've never really done a video like this. A lot of my videos are just gaming and really that's about it so this is kind of something new for me kind of testing the water seeing if you guys like it if maybe you want to see more in the future but let's get into it so my little toolkit um just show you that it works and everything derby pretty cool game I mean, it works. You just don't have an R button. So once you get that out, just remove the battery and set it off to the side. And then you got some Y-wing screws in here, 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 and here. I think that's just a regular Phillips screw. Y wing as well. Let's see, what's this one? I'm trying to make it to where you guys can kind of see it. Never really done any of this before, so it's kind of a new setup. You want to get all these removed. Dusty. if you guys can see that but bright yeah see how dirty that is pretty funky and then you just pop it off and then that's done you got a couple Phillips spots so you got one two and three you got three of them in there and you take the motherboard out get those out now that you got those out you want to be pretty gentle on removing the motherboard but you want to look inside there focus See how dirty all that is. So I'm going to give the motherboard a good wipe and clean. Once I get all this done. You want to open it. Be very careful. There's a couple tabs. On here that you're going to want to remove. Or pop. But you want to be gentle. You don't rip the ribbon. And just pop it out. Set this off to the side. There's all the little buttons stuck to it. So it goes over here. May or may not reuse them. I'm not 100% sure. Because I got the little shell kit. Comes with kind of everything. Take the speaker and the pad and just set it off to the side. And there you go. So then your next step, you're going to need a little flathead screwdriver or 
something kind of pointy to remove these. Okay, so now that I've got all those removed, you kind of want to flip it over again and you're going to want to try to get this up without damaging it. And there's a little screw right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. You're going to want to remove that one. Okay. What that'll do is it'll drop your little cover or your hinge right here. Or the, the cover for your hinge and all that. And you'll just push that screw out. Put it with that. Keep them separate. And then, now that you got that, you're going to want to take these screws out. And they are uh, Y head screws as well. Cause you don't want to mix up some of these screws cause some may be longer than the others and they'll kind of go through and puncture the shell from what I've heard. And then I've got that just kind of separate it. Oh, I think I missed one. I did miss one. There was another one. So you want to make sure you get that screw out but with the others and now it should come apart pretty easily. Now that you got that off, good. Just be careful, yeah, not to do that. You don't want to break nothing. Put that at a little bit of an angle. Push it through, and bam, you're out of there. So, you know, there's your screen. You just want to put it off to the side, and make sure it doesn't get damaged. Clean up your area a little bit. But yep, this is the old shell. This button is just toast. Definitely, definitely seen better days. Yeah, so yeah, it's pretty much done. And uh, you're gonna want to make sure you remove this and put it in your new shell because they don't they don't have them with it. Just get something and kind of poke it through and make sure to hold on to that and set it right over there to the side. So I'll leave a link down below in the video showing where I got my shell and everything. I just got it off of Amazon. Nothing, nothing fancy. It was pretty, pretty decent price. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. Comes with a couple screwdrivers. I've heard they're not very, not very good quality. So an extra set you can just kind of have. It's got a new little cover. It's pretty cool. You just peel this and it just sticks to it. Not a hundred percent sure. Didn't really have instructions or anything, so it's just kind of as I go. But so far, it's the new shell. I mean, clean, nice. You got all your extra stuff in here. So you got a new hinge. Uh, hinge cover, some hinges, the badge. It looks like those little pad things. And all new screws, so that's pretty cool. So I'm probably, I'm probably just going to leave this on and just keep this as a spare and just kind of clean this one up because it's really, it's not that bad. It's got a few scratches. But I don't want to risk the chance of damaging the screen because, like I said, I've never done this before. So isopropyl alcohol to kind of clean your screen and you know the motherboard and everything you want to get it all nice and clean before you put it back together so let me know down in the comments what your favorite uh like game boy is game boy color classic pocket sp advanced you know i'm just kind of curious me i never uh, i i didn't ever had one of these when i was a kid growing up i had a I think my first one was a DS Lite. It was pretty cool. Uh, we'll set this aside for a second because I kind of want to look at the motherboard. It is pretty nasty. It's just dust. All that. I'll definitely need a little bit of 
of scrubbing. Clean around your button pads. Switches and push them down with it a little bit, just enough to get some of that in there to clean them out. So we'll set this off to the side for right now. And let's put the case together. This in. It's right in. screws because a lot of these original screws just from what I've heard and seen in other videos just work better than the cheap aftermarket screws they send with it so I'm gonna try to use all the originals and just what you're gonna want to do now is try to get this at an angle be careful and just feed it through this camera's up we're back You know, feed it through and just kind of be careful and try not to damage it any. Just take all these button pads out. Get it in there, right? And it should be all in there. Now, oh, okay. Maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> kind of just went right in there. Okay, so you just have to have the shell open more, I guess. Sorry about that. I skipped a few steps and messed up, but just trying, learning. I think this is pretty fun. I wouldn't mind doing this a little bit more. Get some more practice under my belt. Maybe do a couple different color, different kind of Game Boys. At least put one screw back in to hold that. Cables fed through. That's all good. Feels about the same. Compared to the actual button. That's the aftermarket one, and this is the OEM one. Um, and really, they feel the same. So, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the new ones just because you know, put all this time into putting a new shell and everything. Might as well put some new ones in. Make sure that one lines up and. Falls in there. They'll fall into place when they're right. Just so you kind of know that way you don't have to worry about, you know, mixing up the buttons and then flipping it over and being like, you know, surprised. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new pads down. Get that 
Jesus. This way. So this little tab over here holds that in. Put those on. Your start buttons. Brightness button. Get all those. And then now for your speaker, which is over here. Put all that in. Just like that. It's pretty much all that really. Um, this piece, the little hinge cover. Use that and screw. Probably should have waited on these until I put that in. Now that I think about it. <laughs> um, I can probably get away with it. I can grab it. screw in there there it is okay so then make sure all your pads and stuff are nice and squished on there and you got your ribbon cable once you got all that take this reconnect it be gentle I don't want to rip the ribbon cable because then and you're pretty much screwed. And finally, after a lot of battling, finally got it in there. And then I knocked all this other shit out. I kind of put it, put it all back in. So we'll do the easy one, the speaker. Looks like everything's in place for the most part. Move that, and that's what was holding it. Okay. And that moves freely. Volume button moves freely. Everything's a little level. Checking. Looks like all the buttons work. Everything looks good. So. We kind of got that. Let's see, these are on the top screen. These are going to be your motherboard screens. Or, yeah, motherboards. These all kind of started. And again, I'm using the OG screws compared to the aftermarket ones. I just heard these ones. If you can use them, they work better than the cheap aftermarket. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I, I actually enjoyed this. I mean, it was a little, little tricky with the ribbon cable, but like I said, I'm, I've never done anything like this before. So I, re I really hope you guys are enjoying this video and I'd, I'd love to continue making, you know, more stuff like this. It's just always been a passion of mine that I just finally decided to kind of pursue. All right, so those are all in. I mean, it's it's coming along pretty well. I'm gonna set this off to the side for right now, <clears throat> and I'm gonna look at the back of it. Try not to mess with the triggers too much. But you're definitely gonna want to take this piece, a little sticker, but Put this little piece down in here. Another good reason to have a magnetic kind of screwdriver. Once you got that in there, when you go to screw it in, it'll actually hold your battery cover on. 
let me know if you're enjoying the video you know leave a like comment subscribe i'd appreciate it and going together for the most part so that works trigger buttons work this one slides you can see it sorry if my hands aren't really in a good spot on the video still trying to get used to this different style of filming than what i'm used to we'll go ahead and start with like the little smaller smaller screws all right now that we kind of have those two back in i want to test it before i 100 percent put this back together just because i just want to see how it is I mean, it came on, so <laughs> got sound and everything. Oh, yeah. Let's take this out. Hold that thing all the way through. That's good. Sweet. So now, really, pretty much all we have to do. These little pad things on. Nice. I mean, it's it definitely sounds different. It doesn't make the little clicky noise. Or actually, I don't think that one did either. But you know, what I mean, it, it's it's obviously you can feel the difference. It's just cheap e aftermarket case, but it's actually really not that bad kind of seen worse but now finish it off do a little nintendo sticker there we go now it's flat so yeah i guess you want to look at that before you start putting the sticker down to make sure it's actually smooth there's a little piece of plastic from the molding just bubbled up right here so it made it a little hard uh, let's see that's everything everything clicks and slides and powers on and adjust the brightness let's try putting the game in it Kirby dream dreamland that's, that's actually a pretty fun game I've, I've never played it before until just recently type of cartridge maybe I think it was just a power button was being goofy not too sure on that yeah the power button was being weird for a minute and I'm really glad this turned out all right I mean I was kind of nervous for my first time but so far it turned out pretty great well, let's kind of move everything off to the side in my work area and yeah I mean this is pretty much this shell of what we had I'm kind of worn out and just broken R button worn out sticker that's the only thing that sucks is it doesn't come with a sticker but I'm sure you can find one aftermarket somewhere have it printed and mailed to you and put on yeah I mean Logo on the front looks pretty.
pretty good. I, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. I mean, for 15 bucks, it's 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 not a bad shell. It's definitely cheapy, but I mean, if you're on a budget, it's definitely a way to go. I'll link the um, the shell I bought and my toolkit and yeah, just kind of link that all down in the description below. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you would like to see more, then leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. I'd really appreciate it as it would help the channel grow and show that, you know, you're more you're interested in these as well as, you know, my gaming stuff. But yeah, thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.